You know, I got to say, um, you know, my friend from Wyoming, there's a lot of things he could have said in that objection, but to lecture us about bringing out a bill that people haven't had a chance to read or study is rather rich at this moment in our legislative journey on health care. Um, I, I, I don't know if he thought that through before he said it, but I can assure you when it came out of his mouth, all of us on this side were saying, you got to be kidding me. Really? Um, it, it was just a little much. Um, you know, I know we're all talking around the obvious, and that is we need to fix the health care system in America so that people don't have to go in their pocket as often, so insurance is reliable, so the markets are more stable. And we're going to have an awful lot of opportunity, I hope, to come together and do just that. And I hope my friend from Wyoming and my other friends on the other side of the aisle will be part of that. But we have a really simple solution. And I really hope that people think this through before they just object. And that is a simple solution to the Bear Counties. Now, I'm going to have 25 Bear Counties, mostly as a result of the sabotage of this administration, of the exchanges. And people in those counties are looking to me for an answer. And I don't blame them for being worried. So how can we solve that problem today? Well, Senate Bill 1201, Health Care Options for All, which I have introduced, will solve that problem today. All we have to do is say to anyone who's in a county in America, and I know my colleague from Ohio, Senator Brown, has some counties. I know my colleague from Indiana has some counties. All we have to do is say, if you don't have an insurer in your county, you can come with your subsidy and buy insurance the same place our staffs buy it and most members of Congress buy it. Those are national plans. They're in every state in the union because members of Congress have staff in every state in the union. So there's no need to attract more plans. There's no need to do anything complicated. You just take the subsidies you're entitled to and you buy insurance the same place Congress buys it. We can do that today. And if we don't do it today, you know what we're saying? to people who live in Ohio and Indiana and Missouri, that we're entitled to something better than they have. That they shouldn't be allowed to buy what we can buy. Now that takes some nerve. If we are not willing to take this simple basic step, people in these counties should be angry and take up pitchforks. Metaphorically, of course. So I um, think that the national plans that are out there that my staff uses that are in Springfield, Cape Girardeau, Columbia, and I'm sure that my colleagues could talk about their staffs using these plans all over the country, um, I would like to make those available to regular folks in my state that want to be able to lay their head on the pillow tonight and not worry about whether or not they're going to have insurance next year. So, uh, Mr. President. I ask unanimous consent that the Committee on Finance be discharged from further consideration of Senate Bill 1201, the Health Care Options for All Act, that the Senate proceed to its immediate consideration, that the bill be considered read a third time and passed, and the motions to reconsider be, be considered made and laid upon the table with no intervening action or debate. I, I just say I, I'm pretty sure his staff in Wyoming is not coming to wa Washington to buy their insurance. I'm pretty sure that all of our staffs, um, I'm pretty sure, Mr. President, your staff is not coming to Washington to buy their insurance, those that work for you in Utah. I'm pretty sure that Senator Manchin's staff and Senator Patty Murray's staff and all of our staffs that live all over this great country, they're not coming to Washington to buy their insurance. They're getting a good health insurance plan. And I just think it takes incredible nerve to lecture me about people in Missouri having no insurance while you're objecting to letting them get the same insurance you've got.
Really? That's what this has come to? This partisan exercise? We, can, we don't have to fix this permanently this way, but we could do it just temporarily to give people peace of mind until we figure out the right, right way forward. But how dare members of this chamber tell people in my state they're not entitled to buy what we have when they have no other options at this moment. Let's move forward together and fix it, all of it. But to get a lecture that people in my state don't deserve what my staff has or what Senator Barrasso's staff has, no wonder people are upset with Washington. I yield the floor. Mr. President. The Senator from Minnesota. Mr. President, I thank the Senator from Missouri for her good idea and her passion for this issue and for her correct statement that when people sign up uh, for these exchanges, they don't have to go by train, plane, or automobile to Washington, D.C. Uh, to get their insurance. 